forever. Sambojalastari is a passionate war cry for eco-warriors. In the past forestry and conservation organization came, but all they did was talk. We needed something to change. We needed real action. The first land purchases provided the Samboja community with money to help improve their lives. We used the money to buy property, which is closer to the main road and my children's school. The economic benefits to local residents did not end with a fair price for their land. Those who sold their land to boss were also entitled to jobs. Another benefit for my family was my husband got an opportunity to work in the boss Sambojala Stari project. Many people are now working for Sambojala Stari, planting trees, the first step in turning the wasteland back into a rainforest. Where I am standing right now is almost 2,000 hectares of former yellow grasslands as far as you could see. Every year there were fires, there were floods. And now, all of a sudden, we are looking at a new forest. However, this astonishing transformation of grassland into tropical rainforest has not been as simple as planting trees and watching them grow. Years of flooding and fires had depleted the soil of nutrients. Seeds for the thousands of species required were scarce. The new trees were vulnerable, needing constant protection. The first step was to plant pioneer trees. These resilient species provided the shade required by native rainforest trees and other vegetation, which cannot tolerate direct sunlight. With over 2,000 tree species planted, Samboja Lestari has the highest biodiversity of any reforestation project. But this time, survival is decided by nature, not man. Eventually, the native trees will propagate to form a close canopy creating a cool, humid microclimate typical of a tropical rainforest. This forest attracts many other birds and other animals that themselves will bring in new seeds to this area. So slowly the area will regenerate to becoming more like a natural forest. The pioneer trees will be harvested and used in programs to further benefit the local people. Mahadi has worked at Samboja Lestari for almost four years. Each day, he and his team select seedlings from over 1,700 varieties of tree species grown in the project's own nursery. Before the day is done, they will have planted over 1,000 trees, representing a wide variety of native Borneo species, including fruit trees, which will support and sustain a higher density of animals than in a naturally occurring rainforest. As a city is more than a collection of buildings, a rainforest is more than a collection of trees. It's a complex system. The nutrition cycle of a tropical rainforest requires thousands of plants and animals interacting in harmony. To promote the rapid development of this cycle, BOSS is releasing into Samboja Lestari fauna endemic to the Borneo rainforest. We just released the snake here, a little over three meter long python, one of many that we are going to release here. As a predator, this python is an important link in the rainforest food chain. We have to recreate a system with very high species diversity. Albeit not being an original rainforest, it will have all these ecological functions of providing lots of food, many different plants and animals interacting. We are going to release nine gibbons in an area very nearby here. We are moving another hundred orangutans to Samboja Lestari. The place is really coming to life. Until a high humidity microclimate is fully established, fire is a constant threat. Natural and artificial fire breaks, along with early warning systems using monitoring towers and infrared cameras, provide a high level of protection against the fires that can destroy years of work or even threaten the very existence of Samboja Lestari. Samboja Lestari has a commitment. We are planting the trees and protecting the area from fire. 
We used to have fires every year and now with our solid team of firefighters, we have proven forest fires can be prevented. Tim kepakar yang sangat solid dan kompak. Equally important to fire prevention is the ability to monitor the levels of growth and regeneration occurring in the forest. With the help of the Indonesian SAR Vision Group, working in cooperation with BOSS and the ESA, the European Space Agency, a satellite-based monitoring system is being installed, allowing real-time remote imaging of any section of the forest. So we are here in the office of uh, SAR Vision in Sambojelestari. And from here, we are monitoring all the forests of Indonesia. So BOSS invested a lot of money in sending all these people abroad to uh, get their PhDs in radar technology that can penetrate clouds, that can monitor forest changes at any time in order to be able to take the right decisions to protect the orangutans. This advanced imaging technology, which can see a coin lying on a square meter of rainforest floor, will provide detailed monitoring of the regeneration process. This monitoring and data will help develop guidelines for similar rainforest conservation projects elsewhere in Indonesia and potentially anywhere in the world. This is the tool also that we use for the transparency for the people that adopt the square meters here in this area and for people who are investing in nature conservation. We can provide them the proofs with this technology of an integrated team of experts. And that is also. The 2,000 hectare area of Samboja Lestari has been divided into concentric rings or zones, each allocated for a specific purpose. The entire Samboja Lestari compound is surrounded by an area known as the Outer Ring. BOSS has given this area for the exclusive use of local residents. They learn interstitial farming at Samboja Lestari's own forestry school, applying the technique to their own plots of land, by planting vegetables and other useful crops among the native rainforest trees. They promote a stable ecosystem while protecting the vulnerable seedlings during the early growth years. BOSS has planted superior quality sugar palms for the local people. We want to keep the number of jobs stable until the sugar palms in the pieces of land that we are providing to the local people are coming into production. So, from the social component, it gets better and better. Eventually, this sugar palm will be refined to produce ethanol in a replica of the pioneering palm sugar factory built by Dr. Willie Smits in North Sulawesi.